Well, it feels great to be to be back in uh, McLaren and uh, you know to start this new chapter in uh, in my career and uh, yeah, uh, has been uh, some some years that uh, I was not here, but everything uh, still the same and uh, now we have uh, some. Uh, some things to do. Uh, there is uh, the desire and the commitment from everybody to, to win again and to win together, and uh, I'm here for this. I made the decision to, to come back in McLaren uh, for, for two reasons. Uh, mainly, uh, the first is the desire to win. Uh, I think uh, McLaren Honda project uh, has the, the same uh, values and the same uh, um, decided of, of winning and uh, and be the the best in Formula One, and secondly because I think uh, uh, from the last uh, 2007 uh, year here, I feel that the, there is an unfinished business uh, here at McLaren. I brought uh, number one when I raced for them uh, from Renault to here. And now I want to, to win a championship and bring back the number one in the cockpit, but uh, now uh, doing it uh, from, from, from the inside. So these are the, the main reasons and, uh, you know, uh, this project is, is very attractive and uh, I could not say no. Well, to me, the association McLaren-Honda, uh, it means... Uh, it means a lot, uh, especially because when I grew up, when I was a child, a go-car driver, I saw on television the, the battles between uh, Senna, Prost and uh, this uh, famous uh, McLaren Honda uh, colors and uh, domination in, in, in that period of Formula One. So as a child, when you grow up with an uh, idol and when you grow up uh, with an image of what uh, means uh, winning in Formula One, of course, uh, you know, that now I have uh, the honor and the opportunity and the privilege to be part of this uh, new era of McLaren Honda. And uh, that's, that's uh, for me, it means a lot. Well, I've been very impressed with, with Honda. Uh, came back, obviously, I visited in uh, Japan the facilities uh, of Honda and, uh, of course, the, the McLaren facilities as well. And I really think that both uh, are, are really putting everything together to, to start a new uh, successful uh, partnership again, like uh, they had in the past. They know each other, they know what uh, they need to, to succeed. And, uh, you know, uh, especially with, with Honda and in Japan, uh, I was very, very impressed and uh, how uh, they commit to this uh, new project, how professional and determination that I saw there uh, has been outstanding. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm... I'm really honored it and uh, ready to, to work with them. Well, being a McLaren Honda driver, uh, the aim is always high. Uh, there is uh, this, this expectation of, of this partnership that uh, will, uh, will uh, put us on a, uh, on a position that we need to, to deliver something good because the people will expect something good from us. But uh, in the other hand, uh, we know how complex and uh, the difficulties that we will face, uh, especially uh, at the beginning of the project. So I'm here to win, but not to win the first day. I'm here to win in a long-term uh, relationship. So if, if we need to, to go through a period of uh, understanding and a pre period of learning, uh, how this new era of Formula One is, is working. I'm here for that and uh, I'm committed to, to, to work together with the team to, to wait for our moment. Well, the last two or three seasons in McLaren, they were not uh, at the top level, but uh, th there are some signs that uh, the things uh, are, are getting better and the things are moving forward, uh, especially with the uh, new names, new people that uh, joined the team. Um, the change of philosophy and uh, a team when it's not delivering uh, 100%. Normally, you go deep into the problems and you, you found the, the reasons. And uh, I think in McLaren there is this, uh, uh, this, this way of working and this philosophy that uh, uh, everyone is here to win, that uh, when you don't, you find a reason. And uh, I think now is the, the moment that everything is going uh, up and uh, I'm ready to, to jump in that train. Well, this time with, with McLaren, there are a few differences. Uh, obviously, uh, I'm uh, older, I'm more mature, I'm uh, uh, more ready for this challenge. There is the McLaren-Honda partnership and the McLaren-Honda uh, legacy that um, is, is, is quite 
inspiring for me and quite um, quite important. And uh, I think uh, you know when you left one place that uh, you feel that you didn't finish what you were there for. You want to come back and you want to finish that job, and uh, it's, it's what uh, uh, what I felt and uh, what I'm I'm sure that we will achieve now. Yeah, together with Jensen, I think we are a very strong pairing of, of, of drivers, and uh, the team uh, has uh, some some potential there in uh, tricky conditions in uh, uh, developing the car, the first stages of the of the power unit. Uh, we have. Uh, a uh, few years uh, on our shoulders and uh, in Formula One, and I'm sure we can uh, we can help the team in uh, in some uh, difficult uh, difficult circumstances. But uh, I think uh, Jensen is, is is one of the few gentlemen that we have in uh, in the sport. Uh, he has been uh, uh, always very respect respectful, always uh, very committed to to the sport and to the to his job. He's extremely uh, good professional on on the on the car and outside the car as well. So, you know, I could not uh, uh, be more happy than than working with Jensen next year.